Ontario College of Teachers. Great teaching. There's something probably really comforting uh, about choosing teaching because you spend your whole childhood in that environment, in that school environment. And to become a teacher is like that full circle. You've come around to it in a different way. And I think by the time my career is done, I will have been in a school like for my entire life when you think about it. The uncertainty now for me is what motivates me. I like that starting a unit and not really knowing how it's going to go because there's nothing I love more than that chance to reinvent something, to look at curriculum and think, how am I going to be able to get kids to connect to this? Or what does that look like in real life for children? And that, I think, is probably what's kept me in it. Publishing materials are great and you can buy units, but the bottom line is, is the people who have written those materials they don't know these children. So for me, what I feel my job is, is I'm like the interpreter between what a publisher thinks a grade four student should do and what my students are actually able to do. To me, that's the dance. That's the teaching where you're trying to take something and make it so that all kids can access it and be successful. Yeah, I hate talks books because they have questions that you need to answer a specific way they make you feel so empty inside and like you just need to go work, 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 work. He is one of those kids that will come in with the negative first and he comes through the door and flings down his backpack and says, I cannot wait for the last period every day. And I thought, oh no, he's gonna hate school so much. He's waiting for the last period every day. I said, why, what happened? He said, I have this teacher, Miss Tinley. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> You see the kids are almost like drawn to her when she's teaching and I think it's because she cares so much about learning and the process of learning and it's like a personal goal to get that struggling student to hear, you know, just so they can see that they can do it and believing in them so much that they can. Everything is done with intention and purpose. It's all very deliberate. When I say they know that they're being given authentic learning, every child wants that. They want their time respected. When their time is respected, you get engagement. When their time isn't respected, we, we know what that can look like. So when we went to school, you read a book, what do you do? You write a book report. That's not real. Nobody in the free world finishes reading a book and says, I'm gonna make a diorama. So I noticed that more and more on YouTube, they're creating these things called book trailers. And so I taught my grade 3-4 class, how to create a book trailer using a very simple free Animoto is the program. We analyzed, we found the best quality book trailers we could find and we tore them apart. Like, why is it so good? And I had students create these Animoto trailers for books. And I remember going home and thinking, okay, you know, like, what are these gonna be? You pull them up, you know. And the first one comes up and it was for this book, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. And it was stunning. I remember tearing up and thinking, nobody's gonna believe that eight-year-olds made this. And then I'm thinking, well, you know, that's, we got lucky. Pull the next one up. They were all spectacular. When you have parents come in and they don't just look at their child's work, then you know, you know it's good. As challenging and as exhausting as it is, when you hit that right moment with kids and when you hit that lesson, and things finally go the way that you were hoping, like there's no other feeling in the world for that. To know you've had an impact in somebody's life that may possibly change them. I mean, I know for me, I had a teacher and he was differentiating back in the 80s before we thought differentiating was cool. I mean, he knew. He made it his mission to find things that you would be interested in reading and then talk to you about it not just give you a worksheet and, and, and take your answers home and maybe give you a score, but like to really talk to you about it. So to have a teacher that knows you so well, I think that's what I, you know, I want that. I want to be able to 
to do for others what he did for me. Learn more at OCT.ca.